Generic greetings, Treasure Hunter Simulator is a fairly over the top name considering that the game is basically detailing what happens after Lara Croft slash Indiana Jones become pensioners and retire to become metal detectorists and go around the world scanning for treasure and find ring pulls because that's what the game is, it's a metal detecting game, you go around to different locations, you'll scan, you'll find rubbish and treasure and then sell that, your prestige will go up, you'll get new detectors and find locations and you've got like a, a job system and things like that. Either way, I've played about an hour and 45 minutes so far, so enough to get my thoughts and feelings down, but it's still classed as a first impression. By the way, today's beverage is orange juice, but without the juicy bit, sadly. So let's just have a look at this one. So we're going to open up our treasure app and we can see that we have a map. So these uh, are showing the current locations we have unlocked. So we have uh, Bavarian Lake, which is a very nice place to go. We also have Slovakian Valley and we also have Gettysburg. That seems to be the tutorial uh, location. And this is the first one you start with. And then uh, this is the second one that I've unlocked, which we're going to go there. And I'll show you that in a moment. There is an email system in the game, and it's basically where you'll get jobs, and it'll tell you a bit of a story, which is, so far, mostly forgettable. You can see the current jobs uh, that we have at the moment. So we've got uh, Global Adventures, which is basically find uh, so many... Uh, find treasures in the Garda Valley area, and then we've got uh, side jobs as well. So um, we've got find a lead musket ball of good condition in Gettysburg, and crossing the mountains, finds the fastest route through the mountains on the Slovakian Valley. I haven't bothered with that. Anyway, we've also got detectors, and you can see there's many different type of detectors and each of them have a certain thing that they can detect and what, what depth that can be. We also have a collection as well, which you can see I've got things like a ruined piece of metal, and I can sell all of this one there. So there's a ducat, I don't really want that, I don't want a brass button. And then we've got things like, uh, well... <laughs> like that helmet there and also this rifle that you can't really see because it's quite small but those are priceless so we can't sell those and they are actually uh, shown on our desk so we've got that uh, helmet there and we've got the rifle there i'm guessing you find another two be oh that looks like to be a sword maybe two swords there by the look of it there you go anyway so what we'll do is we will we will head over to uh, the Garda Valley in Slovakia. You can see that there is a travel cost, which is currently 50 generic units of currency. We currently have 295, so more than enough to travel there. Um, traveling to the Bavarian Lake is free, so it's no problem there, but we're not going to go there. We're going to go here. And the thing we have to pay attention to is this thing, this uh, grid here. So you can see it's uh, separated into small, medium, and large. That's... Um, the type of stuff you can find, and those are further separated into how far they are uh, into the ground, so shallow, middle, or deep. So obviously you would normally consider things to be deeper in the ground to be older, because they've been there longer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but not necessarily, and I don't know how much the game simulates any of that. In terms of the Treasure Hunter simulator type thing, it's not a simulation of metal detecting. It's got very little, it's, it, it shares very little with the, the reality of it, and we'll get into that later on, but... Um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to equip the basic detector, the uh, Yamar LB1019MK, which is currently equipped. But I also have the uh, the AGU200 unlocked as well. And you can only take the one. You can't just put a couple in the boot of your car and do that. No, no, sadly, you just equip the one, which is suboptimal at times. You've got the digital ones as well. And you can see that they generally are more expensive, but they do um, a, a lot bigger sweeping, uh, and that's quite good. But you do need a, a prestige level to unlock it. I don't understand that. You wouldn't go into a shop and say, here's my 1,200 generic units of currency. I would like your WowTech K22-H3D. And they're going to go, hmm, I'm sorry, your generic units of currency are no good here. I will not be able to accept that because your prestige isn't high enough. I don't think that would happen. Anyway, map. We'll click on here, and we will travel. <sighs> nice beverage. So, we'll load up into a very nice looking valley. The game is quite nice looking, I must confess. It's uh, not, you know, the, the best fidelity in the world, but... Um, it's Unreal Engine. It looks very, very nice. We've got a nice lake here. We've got some mountains. There's the odd clipping issue now and again with rocks like that. And um, also, I've had some pop in when it comes to like the grass and such. But for the most part, it's a nice, relaxing place to be. And there's the music's quite um, on par as well with that one as well. Ah, oh, and ah, 
Ah, what is that noise? That is our metal detector shouting at us saying that there is some treasure around here. Or actually, it might be rubbish. And considering that the bin's there, I'm guessing we're probably about to find a bottle cap. So what we do is we right click and that will bring out our detector. And what you would normally do, and bear in mind that my experience with metal detecting is very limited. It is basically using a really cheap Argos metal detector as a kid <laughs> many, many years ago and watching all of the Detectorists TV show, which is um, fantastic, by the way. So I can't, I don't have any claim to be any expert in metal detecting, but I, I think you, what you generally do is you sweep in a motion like this. So the coil, which is that disc at the front, will go over new ground, but not skip. So if you do that, you've skipped a huge section like this bit here, right? So you don't want to be doing that. You want to be sweeping like this. So you're covering new ground and scanning like that. But the game doesn't do that. What the game does basically is is, um, change the pitch of the noise and also we have a visual clue on the right hand side there to determine just how close stuff is so we know that it's further this way so we're going to turn and we'll go this way and further turn this way and there we go we've got a stronger signal stronger signal and let's hope this is not a mine from the war uh and there we go it is there so we know it's there. So it will just bleep and it does actually change colour. The metal detector, you can see it's got a little hue on it there. It goes yellow and we left click and we get the spade out. And normally you dig a plug and then look that and scan. The, make sure you scan the plug and then refill the hole. You don't do any of that. You just basically dig, dig up Mother Earth. And uh, you can see it removes the grass and then we find... Oh, good catch straight away. Looks like to be uh, a gold coin. So... Uh, you can see it's currently unknown, uh, but we do know it is a very old gold coin at first glance. There we go. And we will identify that. And it's get sprayed clean. And, ooh. So, we can see we now have a very nice old coin. So, it's a duck at, a type treasure, rarity exceptional, metal gold, condition good, value 48, generic units of currency. Uh, old coin were duck at minted in um, Habsburg, Austria, while the duck at's were minted up until 1871. Particular one is significantly older, based on design showing Leopold of first, a reference to the mint in Graz. Duck at was being struck between 1670, uh, 1676 and 1682. Take. Now that is a good catch. So, um, that's uh, pretty good. You can go up the mountains and stuff like that, and um, maybe there's a reason to do that. I don't know how much the game is randomized or simulated. So, for example, you would expect there to be always some probably rubbish around here as people are discarding cans and bottle caps and they get trodden in and things like that. Whereas if you travel into the mountains or in a say, fairly historical area, you might find more. But I don't, like I say, know how much the game simulates that. I am going to assume that it doesn't <laughs> because um, it doesn't seem, it just doesn't seem to. But uh, I could be wrong about that, so... Yeah, right, so we have some uh, very, very, very uh, uh, rare and um, <laughs> exceptional Aboriginal markings here to denote um, which way that is. Or oh, it's some graffiti, or oh, it's the uh, the uh, the park service you know, not putting up proper signs and just spray painting it onto the wall, which looks terrible. Should be some nice signposts, but we can, say, across the bridge and... Um, taking the views it's it's like i say it's not a bad looking game at all it's a nice relaxing place to be and the, the, the music is um is uh, following that up it'd be nice if you could import your own tracks and have like a, a radio with you i don't know if listening to say motorhead or metallic or something while metal detecting is the way forward but uh, hey ho it takes anything i guess and that is a very fast that is a very fast flowing river <laughs> Can I go in? No, I don't think I'd want to go in, actually. Right, so we're just going to keep uh, wandering around, and we'll uh, head over there. There is a map in the game, and I will show you that now once I get to uh, this bridge. So we'll go here, and we can press M to open up the map, and you can see we've started at this location, and I should also note there's a bit back over that we haven't uh, scanned, but we also have dotted dots showing us where we've went and also a little dig area to say where we dug from and you can see we've went up this way and around and such and that's good because it means you don't have to grid it off and section it but 
I found that you tend to have to come back multiple times with different detectors anyway, so I don't think it really matters too much. So it looks like there's a building over here which is of interest, and we've also got a symbol down here, and that denotes a historical object, so we want to head down there at a minimum. So we do have some jobs, as I mentioned, so one of our jobs is find treasures in the Garda Valley, we found one of five, and that'll give us 3,000 prestige, and we also have a side job which is find the fastest route through the mountains, that's 200 prestige, and we'll do that at some point. There's also a camera as well which you can use to take some nice photos like that and you can press you can, you can quick access that by pressing Z okay so we're gonna head across as I said there's some rough edges like that uh, you'll see uh, quite frequently but uh, it's minor stuff like that really so we're gonna have a run around I'm not gonna oh I'm, I'm, only, I'm only gonna stop if I uh, hear anything like that I'm not gonna go off the beaten track there we go and then we'll start digging this out you don't hold left click, you have to wait until it's uh, finished animation so you can... Yeah, you can't... <laughs> seems to be a bit of a delay as well. It looks like a bottle cap to me, that. Is that a bottle cap? Don't know, it's on its side, so I can't really tell. It is a... It is a bottle cap, and... Yeah, he says, type trash, rarity, normal, metal, iron. Aren't they normally aluminium? Anyway. But we've also got some more. I didn't expect that. Maybe over this way. Yeah, this way. I'm going to be falling into the river at this point. There we are. And more digging. So you can find multiple things in different areas. And the type of detector you have will determine the sort of objects you're going to find as well. So we're only going to find small items with this detector because that's what it's set up to do. However, the other detectors might have mediums, so you'll find saws. Um, I mean, look, we're finding things like buttons and stuff. But uh, we might find with the, the medium one things like saws and... Um, belt buckles and um, like shackles and things like that. It uh, seems to be fairly random what you find. That's quite nice, isn't it? I like, like the moss growing on the, on the side there. That's nice. Seems to be fairly random. I don't know if it's localised or not. I'm guessing some of it is because if we find um, you know, you're more likely to find coins of that country's past in that area. I mean, you're not going to find like a <laughs> a British coin in well the other, end, the other side of the world necessarily. Or certainly places that wasn't um, well travelled or anything. Um, I mean, I, I, it's very unlikely I'm going to find uh, like a, a 1974 Ford pickup from Matchbox up that mountain, is it? <laughs> But you never know. Anyway, uh, more scanning is needed, so we'll do just that. And that way. So I did. I would expect anything here to be trash because it's on the beaten track. It's well travelled. It is probably the place where you've got the highest concentration of littering, and also, quite frankly. Um, there yeah, it's a button, yeah. And also, it's old ground, you know, it's 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 probably something that's been detected on multiple times. But again, how much is that simulated? I have no idea. If anything at all. So there's the bridge across there, which um, takes us to... Well, we need to go around that mountain there. And, oh, there seems to be a structure up there. I'm going to scan that one. Uh, but I want to go to my left, because I believe that's where we have a... Like a building of some kind, and I'm wondering if we're going to find anything over there. So as I said, to sweep properly you would do something like that, but you can't really ramp up because of the jerkiness of the movement and the animation, so sadly not. There we go. And we'll have a dig here. And what we're going to find, I can't see anything in the, in the hole we've dug, but we have found another bottle cap, dandy. Oh, and that's kicking off again. Uh, this away. There we are. Oh, shit, just serve all these flowers. Obviously, different maps have different feels and seasons, things like that. Oh, it looks like to be. Oh, it looks like to be a. a. casing. It is an old 0.45 casing from a pistol cartridge. So it's type treasure, rarity normal, metal other, wouldn't be brass. 
uh, condition tolerable. 26 unit units of currency. Casing for a .45 ACP pistol cartridge, very likely World War II or shortly thereafter. The 45 ACP pistol cartridge was designed by, uh, in 1905 by John Browning and gained massive popularity due to the Colt's 1911 pistol. Stand issue of the United States Armed Forces from 1911 to 1986. Why it isn't mounted in Slovakia, I don't know. I mean, you would expect to find period things here. Especially from World War Two. 8mm Mauser maybe, or 9mm. But I don't know about 45 ACP. And there's nothing in here, which is a shame. Apart from a very low resolution tree. I just noticed that them uh, the leaves are a bit and that nice detail leaves on that one and that one is hideous. Good grief. <laughs> anyway. So oh there you go, look, popping fern. <laughs> it tends to do that. Anyway. We'll head across the bridge and we wanna travel. We wanna travel to there. So we're we're going over old ground, which is not dandy, but I mean we have to come back to where we came because it doesn't look to be another way across the other side. We'll go across the, uh, looks like it'd be a road bridge of some kind, it's wide enough and there's no, there's no, um, railings on either side. So let's have a quick look at the map. Is there two ways across? We could go this way, but I don't know and it doesn't, oh no, it, it seems to be a dam there. Is that a dam? It might be, but I don't want to go this way and then not be able to get down. So I'm just going to follow this track and across there and this way, I, but we can see when we come around. So we need to go to our left. As I said, I'm just going to cut point a bit and then get here. And Ah, here we are. So this is something uh, of a time trial thing. So if we go in that, it will say, do you want to start the time trial? So you've entered a time trial area. Would you like to start the time trial? I'm going to say no. That will then start a countdown and we have to get to the top of the mountain and you'll have a certain time to get there. And there we go. An area to dig on. That's fine. Move the grass. Make another hole. And hit a mine. Oh, looks like another cartridge. There we go. And what have we got? 9mm pistol casing. Clean that up with the magic stuff in the spray can. So, this is without a doubt a casing for the 9 times 19mm pistol cartridge known as the 9mm Parabellum or 9mm Luger based on its origin. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Excellent. So we will accept that and we will head off again. So that is treasure. So I think that's, yeah, three of five items that we need. This would be a very nice place to visit, wouldn't it? Sadly, there's a lot of uh, loads of metal detectors all over the place. Sorry, not metal detectors, metal detectorists. The metal detector is the thing we're holding. Ah, yes, I've watched the detectorists far too long. <laughs> far too much. <laughs> okay, so we'll dig in here. What can we find? Oh, it looks to be something shiny. Looks like it'll be a button of some kind. Um, It is a button. So we will identify said button. Magic spray can. And we can see that it is a treasure, rare, metal other... Um, and we'll spin it around and... Oh, look at that. It's got a bit of verdigris on it. Um, button is very old indeed. Material. Old indeed material. Manufacturing technique and armament will suggest in particular... Dates back to 14th, 15th century Europe. Okay. Buttons have been already in use in ancient Rome. Even older examples like those in China from 2000 BC. The oldest buttons believed to be more than 5,000 years old. Ah, cool. Anyway, it's worth 31 generic units of currency. That's what we want. Because we're all about the money, not the experience. Anyway. <laughs> we do sell our finds. We do. Um, that goes down to the river. Is there any reason why? No, just because it can. So we've got this sort of like nice wildflower walk here. Birds twitting all the way. Metal detector kicking off. Uh, doesn't seem to be that way. Seems to be this way. Yeah, we're getting closer. Stronger signal. Stronger, stronger, stronger. 
And there we go. More digging. So one more treasure will get our achievement and also our prestige. Looks like there's nothing in there. Doesn't... Ah, oh, a ring pull. Dandy. Doesn't uh, have false signals or anything like that as far as I can tell. There has been times when I've got to a point where I... It's got like... See on the right hand side there, it's... Um, about sort of three quarters or maybe... Yeah, about three quarters and it's not gotten any higher. And I've always assumed that my detector wasn't good enough. But I don't know if that was the case because I think one of them was actually underneath a tree which I couldn't get to. But I don't know if, like, say if that was the case or not. And that is a... Is that a pocket watch? I think that's a pocket watch. Oh, it's not. It's a old necklace. Looks valuable. So clean it up and... Old necklace dates back to the 18th century. Metal iron doesn't have an iron. It doesn't have an iron look to me. That looks more precious metal. But anyway, it's it's not an iron color. Um, and if it's 18th century in the ground, iron surely it would have rusted away by now. Anyway, um, person nature of the items are likely the old family heirloom lost by a soldier in the war. Odds are just just uh, losing or misplacing jewel like this is rather low. Giving the past conflicts in the area and the amount of European soldiers who fought here makes that more likely scenario. Yeah. There you go. And there's our quest completed. So there's some regional notes in there, which is not quite nice to have. And we have a, a stone bridge. Which... I'm, not being t I'm trying not to be too critical, but it just doesn't look right. Stone having high compressive strength rather than good torsional, so at least there should be some things going. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start reviewing a bridge. Let's just get across the thing. So we'll head across here. Obviously, we're not gonna be scanning that because we'll just find some nails. Um, but we do want to head over to the treasure marker on the right hand side because we're just following that bit of bloom there. Uh, fodder pad. Okay. And obviously there's somewhere up the... Well, there might be somewhere up that mountain. You can see there's some turrets there. Quite good. Let's just uh, check the map to see how far we are away. Oh, it's not too far. Just across there. Uh, we can... I think we can waypoint it. But uh, there's no real point. We just need to head over that way. We're just going to follow this path. And we might find... What we're looking for. This looks to be more... Washed out here. Maybe... I was going to say where the water would overflow, but perhaps not. So, ah, uh, yeah, looks like you can get across there. That is a, that is a, um, suspended bridge there. And we are coming close now to where our rare item might be. And here we go. Not that way, this way. I'm going to turn that off and just run this way because... Oh yeah, high chance, there you go. There it is. What have we got? After all this... <laughs> if it's a bottle cap, I won't be impressed. Oh, for f... <laughs> okay. Plus one generic gonna press points. It is a bottle cap. It is trash. Um, is that right on the point where we should find something rare? It is. It is. And the detector is not detectorating. Well, we can go across the bridge, but I don't think there's gonna be any point. So there you go. Well, uh, there's nothing around there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return back to the office. And we'll sell some of the garbage and indeed some of the treasures that we have. We'll see if there's any other missions in there. It'd be nice to be able to walk around this because it does look like a very nice cozy area, but sadly you cannot. And there's also a sword to the left there. Anyway, so we will go to email and we do have another contract information. Or based on the information we received this morning, you started your work in the second of Sir Richard's contracts. Excellent. That's just a special um, like story bit. So we have another job here, which is take photo of the Garda Valley Waterfall Attachment 1. And that's pretty much just where we've been. So I guess we'll have to accept that and 3,000 prestige. We've only got... Um, about we're about two thirds of the way up there, 
I'm going to equip my other detector, and I will start selling some of this. So there's your casing, which is 26. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be really... I mean, there's a, a valuable 18th century necklace, 16, $16. But a very common as muck 0 0.5... 0.45 uh, case, <laughs> casing, dime a dozen, you would expect, not very, not as old, is um, apparently twice as expensive. I don't really know why. I think there's been uh, discussion about rebalancing that on the one the list um, post that they did. So we start again right back here. Um, can we go back over is the question, and is there any need to? You cannot go back over. Sadly. Okay, so we're going to make a beeline, and what we might do is go another way. We'll go up the mountain this time, because we can. So, we do have an objective to get up the mountain as fast as possible. That's on the other side of this one, so, yeah. So, it does say... Oh, this is now kicking off. Let's scan. There we go. And we'll dig in. So, we're going to find a different item now because this is a different detector. So this will be a medium-sized object. And it looks like to be a helmet. Wow. Right on the path. It is a steel combat helmet from World War One. Looks British. Brody helmet isn't actually Brody helmet. British? Uh, Mark One. Helmet worn by the British since uh, 1915. There you go. It is worth 22. Again, quite cheap, I would imagine, for what it is. Right. That's good that we found a helmet. So we're going to head up the mountain, which we, I believe we travelled the other way before, didn't we? We, we went across the river, um, had a little wander, and we, I think we had a little bit, but we didn't go all the way. I'm sure there's some... Yeah, there's some wildlife noises. Sound like a pig or something. Wild boar. Hope we don't get gored on the way to scan <laughs> on the way to the scan location. Again, we're gonna head all the way around here. Oh. And we'll scan around here. Now this is probably gonna um, show you a little iffy part of this. Um, hang on. Come this way. This is where it'll glitch out and we won't be able to dig. Um, it's around here somewhere. Mm. Hang on. There. Oh, and we can dig. Okay. There's um, a bit of a, I wouldn't call it a bug, it's just a quirk, really, of when you're digging. Um, when you're trying to dig when the land is sloping up away from you it's it sometimes says cannot dig here you have to go up the up the slope and then dig as it's sloping away from you i was going to say dig down but generally you do dig down <laughs> you don't dig up quick dig upwards <laughs> no you um if i was say trying to dig that away it just wouldn't work you'd have to come further up and then dig that way it tends to it's it's quite I wouldn't say it's a common thing, but it's uh, when it happens, you it just qu it's a quick thing to know what to do. Anyway, so again, what we're going to do is blast our way. I think as quickly as possible. I think we'll ignore all previous all previous scans, and we'll go up and round. We'll go. We'll actually go that way this time. And remember, there is a time trial there to go up the mountain, but I have no idea if it means go that way. Or that way. I would assume with it being that way it means up it means up that way of the mountain, but no, nah, I'm just gonna head this way. Whether you can get right up there is questionable. There are different quests to take photographs of things. Um, the previous game in Bavaria we had to scan three different flowers and it does look to go fell oh, okay, this doesn't look good. I wouldn't really want to risk this sort of angle with all of the rocks and loose shear like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do that at all. Um, we're getting quite far up the mountain. See, 
see there's like some fallen trees and things. So we are going to go down and across and see if we can find something. You can see there's now a, a flashing camera symbol there, and that's basically saying this is where we need to take the photograph from. So it's 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 holding it's holding our hand basically every step of the way. So bump, there we go. And that should be us done. There you are. Refreshing page, done. And this is where our thing was again. And nope, doesn't look to be anything here. Nothing like our detectors finding it. No, I don't think we're going to find anything. Certainly not going to find it on the rocks, are we? Unless we're scanning for a beer can that's just been left on the side. Um, that's a shame, that. So, at the moment, I don't know if we can find that, or whether it's just look of the draw that we haven't. Either way, I'm not going to spend really any more running around here. I mean, I could do with some more money, because it has cost us $50 to get here, so ideally we would want a bit more. Let's see what we find. See if it's worth our what. See if it make the trip worthwhile. I mean, cool tree perhaps and whatnot, but uh, money wise, no, we are still negative. And what have we found? It is ah, old iron handcuffs. Interesting. Magic spray again. Clean that up. Thirteen generic of currency. Nice shackles. They use the shackles and legs. Prisoners or slaves dates back to early periods of the Stone Age. There you go. Actually, not handcuffs, it turns out, but rather iron leg shackles from the 18th and 19th century. Cool. So we'll take that, and the condition is obviously fairly poor. But I think what we'll do is we will go back to office. It says unstuck there. Uh, that's because if you do get stuck, I don't know if I mentioned this, um, it will basically put you back at the start of the map. I've only got stuck once in the game thus far, but it puts you back right at the start. Which would be a shame. It would be nice if it would... Uh, figure out where you were and then move you out out of whatever clipped object you are. But anyway, we um, pre uh, we can got a, a prestige increase, which is good. We can go collection, we'll sell that there, and we'll sell all this, which is nice. And terms of detectors, we now have this uh, <laughs> Perfecto Pathfinder B, and we will buy that and equip it, because I'm guessing that we have to find um, whatever is large in uh, that, um, that location. I'm, I'm assuming that's what we need to get. But anyway... Uh, inbox, we uh, have a job, which is uh, Slovakian Valley, find the Uber sword. Okay, so we need to find a sword, and I'm guessing that's that noted point at the end. So yeah, it's uh, held our hand until that time. But anyway, that has been a little bit of Treasure Hunter Simulator. Um, to call it a simulator of metal detecting would be uh, inaccurate at best. It's, it, it's not. Um... I honestly think, as much as I'm, I've been enjoying my time with it. I think it's a missed opportunity, quite frankly. I think it, if it would, why a different metal detector would detect different size objects? Uh, no, I mean, obviously, a better detector, more powerful one, would detect it further down and maybe able to have there be obviously different settings on it and signals. And again, I'm not proclaiming to be any expert in metal detecting, but you would assume that um, it would be better rather than, you know, one detector finding a button and another one finding a sword. Uh, obviously, like, you know, you'd get um, better scan depth and things like that. And why are you just wandering an area and then it just, the metal detector starts going. I understand that, you know, that's not the game they've made and probably not what they want to make because most people wouldn't want that. Um, you know, having to grid an area out and think of locations and scan and whatnot. Uh, you know, in a, in a methodical sweeping way and have like a readout of different signal strengths and stuff and having to learn that. That's not what, you know, that's not what this game is. Um, it would be the game I would prefer, certainly, but uh, that's not what it is. So trying to, you know, trying to compare it like that is, uh, I guess, not... Um, not great, but uh, yeah, it would be nice if it was a bit more detailed in that sense, but you know, it isn't. And it's nice to have a wander around and, you know, it's a nice area and whatnot, and you get a little bit of uh, the notes about, about the different coins and things you find are quite nice as well. But nice if you could also import your own tracks and uh, whatnot. Just, uh, you know, a little bit extra on there. And I just realised that's a, is that a knock monitor. 
Anyway, either way, if you like what you see, then by all means, links are in the description. It might be you, it might not be, but that's uh, that's something you can decide for yourself. Uh, it seems to be functional, uh, if nothing else. So, uh, yeah, I might put a little bit more time into it and uh, see what it's like. I'm interested to see if we can go to uh, the UK. Um, or like it's Scotland or something like that. But obviously there's a lot of, well, lo a lot of countries on this map. Um, so maybe we will end up in Russia or, or where, <laughs> or uh, South America or, or whatever. Iceland, etc. Would be interesting. Either way, links in the description so you can check the game out yourself if you do so desire. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.